Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox fan coming to you from Al Red Sox fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. We're going to bring you some more Glory Days football soon to be out. This is the pro football version from our good friend Anthony Crooks, which will be available, as I say, very soon. It can be purchased at sidelinestrategies.com along with Glory Days Boxing and Glory Days College Football. Also, the Joe Bryant game payoff pitch, sidelinestrategies.com. We're testing, once again, my new Excel setup using the PDF game file. I had a stream earlier where it was total tabletop card and dice. It was an excellent learning experience. We had Anthony Crooks in the chat explaining things as I messed them up to put me on the straight and narrow. So... It actually was a very good tutorial with Anthony in there explaining things when, I, um, when we had questions. Um, this is going to be the 1972 Dolphins taking on the 1969 Chiefs as we continue to take our first look at Glory Day's football hybrid mode gameplay. So let's continue to learn together. 1972 Dolphins, 14 and 0 Super Bowl champions in Super Bowl 7, defeating the Redskins 14 to 7. The 1969 Kansas City Chiefs backed up Joe Namath's Super Bowl 3 win by winning Super Bowl 4 for the AFL before they merged over the Vikings, over the heavily favored Vikings, and they were 11 and 3 in the regular season. The roll of the dice, a.k.a. kickoff, is next. Okay, so this is my Excel setup. I do have the charts. We're not going to always, well, I guess we will. So I have the charts. When I look at them, I'll pop them up like this. And we have uh, your Glory Days football drive chart, play-by-play -play chart, big play chart. And if I feel adventurous the event chart. So here's the drive chart. Let's bring that back down. First thing we'll notice, and again, we're not, I did some, I'm using the college board because the little, the little lines kill me when I'm trying to move the, uh, the ball marker. Uh, both teams, nine drives a piece. So the way I set up my board, nine drives. At the end of nine drives, the game's over. Miami is a minus one when it comes to drives because their drive offense is a nine. The Chiefs drive defense is a 10, so that's minus one. What does that mean, you say? Let's bring the chart up. Actually, let's close this out. Um, we're going to use the minus one column for the drives for the Dolphins. For the Kansas City Chiefs, their drive offense is a 10. Miami's drive defense is a 10. So it will be the zero rating for the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm using ball roller. The first dice, the green die, is a 20-sided die. That's going to give us the play call. The white and red die, trench control. White die offense, red die defense. They're six-siders. The black and white die, the black die, is going to tell us what the offense will do and what the play is. So if the offense controls, we would go to... Um, here, like say if it was a pass play. And we're going to have Earl Morrill play, starting. It doesn't make a difference, really, I don't think, with that. Earl Morrill actually played the majority of the season. So we'll have Earl Morrill be the starting quarterback. I'm not keeping stats. We're just going to play some bit, some of it, and I'll keep the uh, touchdowns down here. So again, let's just say they won the trench control on a pass. We'd come down here. On Miami's passing offense, 
the black die is a three, it would be complete, and then we would use the white die on the result table. All right. Dave Gardner, how you doing, my friend? Says, looking forward to playing this game. This is an Excel setup I did. I um, and again, I don't know how far we'll get within the game because I'm still learning, but it, it, this is the way I learn. And so I'm going to try it this way now. I kind of like the Excel. I like rolling the dice, but I, I think this will show the game off better. Uh, I made my little marker, so certain things I don't have to look up. Miami, kickoff, ratings a C. Kick return rating is a B. Kansas City kickoff rating is an E. Kick return rating is an A. Punting for the Chiefs is a B. Miami a C. Punt return, both C's for Miami and Kansas City. All right, so let's play the game. So we're going to roll... Oh, Miami has the ball first. This is my ball marker. See, so if when Kansas City has it, we'll go this way. And Miami has it. It's over here. So Kansas City will kick off. And as we know, it's a C. Uh, excuse me. An E kickoff and a B kick return. So we're really just looking at the black the black die will be the kickoff, the white die the kick return. If we roll doubles, we'll check out penalties. Thank God there's no doubles, so on kickoff we can ignore the green, and then we can ignore, ignore the two six-sided die. So it's a five on the kickoff for Miami. There is C kickoff on a five. That's going to bring them to the goal line. I'm sorry, Kansas City's kicking off. They're an E. It's going to be to the 5. So again, so that's going to be to the 5. So they're at the 5. Miami's kick return is a B, and that's a 2. So a B... Zero, one, two, 22 yard return. So that's going to bring him out to the 27. I like the grid better than the field. My eyes just are really trying to move the little uh, marker today. It was real difficult for me. I mean, when I'm playing alone and not, I'm not streaming, it's not a big deal. I can take my time. I actually have a board closer to me. But I like this. Uh, I will recommend Anthony should have, provide both, you know, PDF wise, I mean. I don't want him to print up more. All right, so now Miami's going to start at their 22. Now we're going to roll for the drive. As we already stated, Miami's drive is at the minus one. So let's bring up our drive, our Glory Days football drive charts. For Miami to get a successful drive, they need a 36 to 84 you see it's a drive and a big play drive kill possibility um fumble interception event i think we're going to skip the event it'll just move to an interception if it's a 99 because i don't want to fool around with the event right now so now what we're going to do when we roll when we roll we're going to watch the bottom black and white die the black die being the 10 the white die being uh, the single digit. This is what we're going to concentrate on, and these I'll explain. So it's a 67. It's a 67. They will get a drive. You can see it falls between 36 and 77, so they're going to get a drive. Now, we'll go to the 20 sided die, and we move here. You can see this is the 20 sided die right here. They started at their 27, so we have to locate that. So it's between 21 and 35. It's a 15. So we go 15 and 21 to 35. That's three plays, 37 yards. And the plus means it's first and 10. Okay, so 37 yards and first and 10. So they're going to go 37 yards from the 27. 
10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So they're at the 36. They're at the 36, and it's first and 10. Let's make sure we did that right. Because they had the 15. And they start, yep, three plays, 37 yards. Again, the plus means first and 10. So we're not going to have to look at the uh, 7 here, which would have given us you know, the down, what down it was against their defense, against uh, the Chiefs' defense. We'll explain that later. Now we go into play-by-play -play mode. So first and 10 for Miami at the 38 of Kansas City. Play-by-play -play mode. So we'll roll. We're going to look at the... The first roll is going to tell us what play, and we look under the first down. You see the first down here? We're going to look under the first down column. So let's roll the dice. That's a nine. So they run the ball uh, pretty much all the time on first down. It's a nine. The ball carrier will be Mercury Morris. And he is an E rating. Now, in the first game I showed you, I by accident used this rating. But you're going to, in play by play mode, you want to just use the rating. Okay. So it's an E rating. So we know it's, I'm sorry. Mercury Morris, yes, he's an E rating. He'll get the carry. So now the next thing we want to know is trench control. Who won the trench battle? The star system. The white die is offense, six-sided die. The red six-sided die is defense. So run offense is a one. That's two stars. Excellent. Kansas City Chiefs. Now we go to the Chiefs card. RD, run defense is a two. Two stars. It's a stalemate. A stalemate. So with it being a stalemate, we're going to go to our chart. We go to the play-by-play. -play. We're going to go down here where it's a run stalemate. We know Mercury Morris is an E rating under the stalemate chart. So we're not going to use the offense wins. We're going to go down under here, stalemate or defense wins, trench control. It's a stalemate. You can't, there will be no fumble on a stalemate, so disregard the red for a fumble. We have a black eight. And Mercury Morris is an E. So we go to eight and an E. Five yards for Mercury Morris. So it's going to be second and five. Let's make sure we did that right. Mercury Morris is an E. I do believe we did that right. So Mercury Morris picks up five yards. One, two, three. So what's there on the 38? And one, two, three, four, five. And that's going to be second down and five now. So second and five for the Dolphins on their opening drop. Now we go to the second down column here, and let's roll. It's an 18, they might pass on this one. An 18, that will be a pass to Mar Fleming, the tight end. Okay, so again, now the next thing we know, so Earl Morrill's looking for a pass to Mar Fleming. We go to the pass offense, two, that's two stars, and we're looking at the white die here. Six sider. So that's two stars. Go to Kansas City defense, the red die. And you look at the pass defense on the two. That's two stars, so it's a stalemate again. Now, when it's a stalemate, this is where I made a mistake in the first game until Anthony explained it to me. We go back to the offensive card, the Dolphins. Scroll, look down. You can see underpassing, offense, and stalemate. Well, it's the offense didn't win the line control. It's a stalemate. To complete the pass, Morrill has to have a black zero to a black four. Well, it's a black one. He will complete the pass to Marv Fleming. So the pass is complete to Marv Fleming. We will now use the white six, okay, 
the white six. And these are 10 sided die, zero through nine for both of them. We'll go back to our play chart. It's a stalemate. Fleming, who's gonna make the catch, is a K rating, is a K rating. We go to the pass game charts, all right? Pass game charts. We're not gonna use offense wins the trench control because it was a stalemate. We go down to where it says stalemate. The roll is a six. Marv Fleming is a K. So we come here, here's the K, and we go down to a six. That's a gain of nine yards. So Marv Fleming gets the pass from Earl Morrill. It's a gain of nine yards. It's a first and 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the 22. Miami's drive continues against the Chiefs. And it's gonna be first and 10 for the Dolphins at the Kansas City 22. So we continue in play-by-play -play mode. So first down, again, now it's first down. We go back to the first down column here. See the first down? Right here, first down column. And we're going to roll. First die is a four. Well, we know that's going to be a run. It's going to be the fullback, Larry Zonka. He's F-rated. One, the lower the roll, the, it seems the lower the roll, the better the trench control. Well, that's two stars. Now Kansas City's run defense is a four. And again, that's two stars, so it is a stalemate. With that being a stalemate, we go immediately to the run stalemate chart. And we're going to look at the two, and Larry Zonka is an F rating. So an F for Larry Zonka and a two on the stalemate. Zonka picks up seven yards as he plunges forward. The battering ram out of Syracuse, Larry Zonka. Seven yards for Zonka, and that's going to make it second and three. So second and three. He picked up seven yards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the Kansas City 15. So second and three. We're going to go to the second down column. And again, they're going to run the ball 0 through 14. So here we go. It's a 14. The ball carrier is going to be Ted Ginn. Okay. Ted Ginn. So we know it's a run to Ginn. His rating is an E. We're looking under the rating column. It's an E. Now let's see who won trench control. We go to the six-sided dice. White die, offense. Red die, defense. So that's a four. And again, Miami, powerful run game. Uh, one through four is two stars. So that's two. That's a six. They might have some trouble here, Kansas City. So on the run defense... You can see the six, there's no stars at all for Kansas City on the run defense. So Miami, offensive line, they explode off the line, get a great push. Now we're going to use the run chart with the offense winning the trench control and the black six. So Ted Ginn, I think it's, is it Ted Ginn? Whatever. He's an E rating for the run we're going to use run game chart offensive offense wins trench control because the dolphins came exploding off the line the offensive line great blocking by the dolphins uh again e and a six so let's go to the six and it's not that good of a result folks he only picks up two yards so the linebackers do a good job plugging the gap it seems so only two yards for Ginn. And that's going to make it third and one. So Ginn picks up two yards. Kansas City defense trying to hold here. Dolphins at the Chiefs 13. Third and one. Now with it being third down, with it being third down, and this is our opening drive, we go to the third down, you see there's three third down columns. 
we're going to go to third, one to two yards. If it's a run, if it's a run, which unless it's a 20, it's going to be a run. The defense is looking for the run. So we will reduce, I'm sorry, we will add to the trench control roll. So let's see what it's going to be. Third and one. Oops. 13, it's going to be a run. They're going to try to cross them up, though. It's going to be Mercury Moore. Uh, yeah, Mercury Moore is probably to the outside. They'll fake the handoff probably to Zonka and a quick pitch to Morris. But it is a run. Trench control, instead of a three, becomes a four. Because the yellow, the defense is expecting it. And you see the yellow... You add one to trench control. It doesn't matter. Even with the four, that is two stars. We know the red six and the Kansas City Chiefs run defense is horrific. Again, the Chiefs seal off the inside. Mercury Morris, can he, he, it looks like he's going to get around the corner for the first down. Mercury Morris is an E rating. They won trench control, even with the Chiefs expecting the run. And it's a nine on an E. They need one yard. That's going to be a big play. So Mercury Morris gets around the corner. He could go for the touchdown here. So you see the BP? That is a big play. All right. Big play. And we will use Mercury Morris's E rating on the run. So we have to now go to the big play chart. We're not going to re-roll. We're just going to use the white die and the one now. So the big play chart, big play rushing chart, Mercury Morris is an E, okay? We rolled the one. So you go E1, 18 yards. I believe that's a touchdown. It's an eight. It is a 13-yard touchdown run for Mercury Morris. What an opening drive for the 1972 Miami Dolphins. So, 13-yard touchdown run. run. Ooh, spell a run. Spell it the English. Run. Morris. And that's going to make it... Well, it's going to make it 6 nothing for the moment. Now we'll kick the extra point. So we'll, we, well, for extra points, we're going to go, again, Miami just scored. It was a 13-yard run by Mercury Morris. They sealed off the inside. We got a big play. He got to the outside, high-stepped into the end zone for the touchdown as he was untouched. So the extra point, where's the extra point? You come down here to the bottom of the card, and you see XP. That means extra point. Garrel, your premium was pretty much automatic, 0 through 94. We're only, and we didn't roll doubles. I really didn't pay attention, but I didn't see any doubles, so we didn't have any penalties, thank God. I hate penalties. So we're going to roll. Your premium makes it 94 and under. Just watch the black and white die in the bottom. And we have doubles. Of course we have doubles. So now it's a possible penalty. We look at the green die. And it could be, it is a penalty on the kick team. All right, so the kick, the extra point was good. What will the penalty be? The penalty chart's right here, down here. Um, we'll use the black three. And that's going to be a false start. So false start, five-yard penalty. They're going to have to re-kick the extra point. So that's going to go five yards back. And to me, it's still 0 through 94 because, I mean, I feel it's not going to be uh, where they kick from the uh, they kick from the 3, add 7, 17, 5, 22. So it's still 0 through 94 in my assessment. He'll do it again. And he just makes it. Oh, boy. So the extra point is good. 7 nothing. 7 nothing Dolphins. 
the result was a touchdown run. You know what? Let's do. Probably that's overkill because I have it in the bottom too, but touchdown run. So the opening drive, 7 nothing Dolphins. Well, that went pretty smoothly. Again, I'm not the guru on penalties, but to me, false start, 5 yards. Um, and the reason why I say it's still 1 through 94, uh, 0 through 94, is because I'm looking here. From the 0 through 29 range, it's at, he's actually better than extra points. So... Again, we said 0 through 94. Now, Kansas City gets their first crack on offense. So, Kansas City, kick return, they're very good. They're an A. Kickoff for Miami is a C. I have the little helmets to indicate that. And now we're going to roll for kickoff. And again, we're only concerned about the black bottom die and the bottom white die unless there's a penalty. If there's no doubles on the white and red, we ignore white, red, and green. Okay, so Miami kickoff is a C. It is a 2. There's not going to be any return. You can see C2012 zero, two is a touchback. We're going to play modern rules. So we're going to give Kansas City the ball at the 25. At least for that, we will. Kansas City will start their drive portion at the 25. Mark Jones says, 1969 Chiefs are one of my favorite che teams. How are you doing, Mark? So we again, we're testing out, this is an Excel spreadsheet setup I did with the PDF file. And I know how to play the game better because we did our tabletop version earlier, okay, and Anthony Crooks was with us, and he explained a lot of things that I was not quite getting. Now I get them. And this is the way I learn. I learn this way for every game now. It helps me out tremendously by streaming it after I play a few games to get some basic knowledge because I make mistakes. All right, so their drive, we're going to roll for their drive. We'll just say first. It's not first and 10, but we'll just keep it like that for now. So their drive starting on the 25. We're going to roll. And again, so my uh, Kansas City... On the drive is going to be zero. So we'll bring up the drive chart. So with zero, Kansas City needs a 34 to 84 to have a good drive. And then, you know, above that, bad things can happen. So they want 34 to 84. Watch the bottom black die here. Black, white die. It's a 77. They just missed out on a big play. They're going to have a drive, so that's good. So they're going to have the drive from the 25. Now, the next thing we want to look at is a 20-sided green die. It's a 14, and they're starting 21 to 35. So we go to the 14, and then we come across 21 to 35, five plays, 39 yards. There's no plus, so we're going to have to determine down and distance now. So it's five plays, 39 yards. Let's do that right now. So they go 39 yards where we were on the 25. I should remember that. So 10, 20, 25. 30, 35, where's the 39, 34, I'm going backwards, I'm going backwards, going the wrong way, all right, let's do this again, 10, 20, <laughs> there we go, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 to the 41 of the Dolphins. And now let's go back to our drive chart. Make sure we did that right. 14, 5 for 39 yards. Now, 
It's not it's not first down because there's no plus marker. So now we have to look at the and and on this, if you roll doubles, there's no penalty because it's built into the drive. So you don't check for penalties on this. this. You add these two together. Six plus six is twelve. The Miami Dolphins defensive rating is a ten. So you go twelve here, and you find the ten defense. And 12, so it's going to be third and two. It's going to be third and two when we go to play-by-play -play mode because Miami's defense is a 10. We see here 10, defense 10. We go, we add the two six-sided die, which is 12, and it's third and two, third and two. So let's mark that in our drive. So it's going to be third and two, for the Dolphins, uh, for the Chiefs, at the Dolphins 41. Big third and two. Now we go to Kansas City's offense. On third and one or two yards, they're running the ball 0 through 18. The defense expects them to run the ball. So we have that yellow there. You're going to add one to trench control roll. So let's roll. They're going to get stuffed most likely because that's a six that's a horrific roll you can't add anything to a six but it doesn't matter there's no stars there Miami on their run defense it's a four that one star will win one star against no stars wins Miami wins trench control now with Miami winning trench control we're gonna take this black six Okay. And uh, go to Miami's defense, which will be on their card. So go down. You you keep going down. You see passing. That's offense. We want to get past that. We want to go to the gray. It says Miami run defense. It's a six. It's a six. Zero through six. We're gonna go to the result chart. On the defense side, had it been 7 through 9, they would have been stuffed, but they're not. So it's a 0 through 6. We'll bring up the chart on this 3rd and 2 situation. And we want to go to play-by-play -play mode. 17, the ball carrier. For, it's going to be Hayes for the Chiefs. And he is, well, we don't look at his rating because the defense won. We look at the J rating for the Miami run defense. So we're going to come down here. Stalemate or defense wins trench control. Now a fumble could happen, but because it's not a nine roll, it's almost, it's an eight. We're going to use this die now, the white eight. And it is a J rating because we're going off the Miami run rating for defense. So again, the J, just look for it here is up here okay and it's an eight one yard he only picks up one yard that takes it to the 40 fourth and one they're not in field goal range they're gonna go for it on fourth and one on fourth and one hank stram says go for it because they're not in field goal range we're playing modern rules so you'd have to add 17 to the 40 and that would be a 57-yard attempt. Though his max is 54. Wow. His max is 54 out of his range, though. And Anthony said what you would do would minus 10 with every additional yard. Or my, is it minus 1 with every additional yard? Either way, he's got to roll a 66. And we'll, I think it was minus 1 each additional yard. So his max is 54. This is 57. So he'd have to roll a 63. And I roll horrific. If you watched our stream. I think the Chiefs, the Chiefs on 4th and 1, are going to forgo the 57-yard field goal. They're going to run the ball here. So on 4th and 1, you just go again to the 3rd down in uh, 2 or less. 
And again, they're expecting the run most likely. The Dolphins. So here we go. Fourth and one. Hank Stram rolling the dice here. It's going to be a run. It's going to be a run. Mike Garrett is going to get the carry. Actually, yes, Mike Garrett up here is going to get the carry because it's a six. Trench control, three plus one because they're expecting it. So it's a four. But Kansas City, even with a four, it's two stars. So it, at worst, it'll be a stalemate. And it's going to be a stalemate because Miami gets a one roll, and that's two stars on the run defense. So it's a stalemate. And an eight. It's an eight on a stalemate. They need one yard to pick up the first down and continue the drive. We go to the run stalemate chart. Mike Garrett. And again, under the rating, he's an H. Ignore this. This is for the spreadsheet that Anthony created for stats and uh, quick play, I think. So he's an H on an 8 stalemate. We're not So you just come down. You see run chart, but that's if the offense wins. This is a stalemate or the defense wins. H. We're going to go into the player rating. H and an 8. He picks up the 1 yard. He picks up the 1 yard. So Mike Garrett kept his legs are churning they come out first down they measure there is an optional rule to see if he if it's short but i'm not doing that he picks up the one yard first down so a good gamble by hank stram first and 10 at the 39 of the dolphins so first and 10 for the dolphins so on uh, for the chiefs so on first down now, we're going to roll on the first down chart. It's a six, and that's going to be a run to Holmes. One through, zero through five would have been Garrett. Then six through nine is Holmes. So Holmes is an I-rated running back. Trench control now, five. We look under the run offense of the Chiefs, five. It's only one star. Dolphins have a three. I'm going to get, yep, so that's two. Dolphins win. The Dolphins win the battle at the line of scrimmage. We're not going to worry about the um, Holmes's rating because it's not going to matter. We're not going to look at his uh, F as I rating. Dolphins win. Now we look at the black die. Well, it's an eight. That's going to be, so 0 through 6, we would have went to the run chart, defense run chart, with the J rating. But it's not. It's a black 8. We go to the stuff chart. Because 7, 8, and 9 is a stuff. Miami's stuff rating is a C. And now we'll use the white 8. And there's no doubles here, so there's no penalty. Let's bring the chart up. But we're going to go... We're not going to use this chart because it's a stuff. Uh, um, we're going to go to the stuff rating chart is on the big play chart. And you can see big play rushing, big play passing chart. We ignore those because it's a stuff chart. So right here, you just come down. It says stuff chart. We know that the Dolphins no-name defense have a C stuff rating. So we go C and an 8 that's minus five yards. Holmes is destroyed in the backfield. Tries to make something happen when he should have just went forward and took like the one or two yard loss. That's a five yard loss. Great job by the no name defense of the Miami Dolphins. Again, so minus five. One, two, three, four, five. That's going to make it second and 15. Mark Holmes says, I always thought that Mike Garrett was in the Hall of Fame, but he isn't. He was Preston Pearson before there was Preston Pearson. Wow, I thought he was in the Hall of Fame, too. He's a very good running back. So it's going to be second and 15 now for the Chiefs. Now on second and 15, we just, again, we just go to the second down chart, uh, second down column. 
here. They're pretty much still going to run the ball quite a bit, even on second and long. It's an eight. The Chiefs will keep it on the ground with that eight. And again, so it's going to be Holmes, the ball carrier. Offensive roll is a five, one star. Red, two. I already know that's two stars. Again, the defense, the no-name defense, they're going to swamp this. That's a seven. We already know that's. We're going to go right back to the stuff chart, and that's a three. So the Chiefs trying to establish the run, and it's not pretty. C on the stuff rating and a three. Zero, one, two, three, minus two yards. The Chiefs are going backwards. So Holmes loses two more yards. Back to the 42. It's now going to be third and 17. We don't have 17 here, but we're just going to... We'll mark 17 right here. So we know. Third and 17. They're definitely going to pass here. Third and 17. The Dolphins will be looking for the pass. So you can see third and six plus. Yellow means you're going to subtract one from trench control, except this time it'll be on the PO, the pass offense. So that's an 18. They're going to look for Richardson. His receiver rating is a G. Pass offense, four plus one, because they're looking for it. It's a five. So that's one star. The two for pass defense. Oh, shoot. I might have messed up on the... Son of a gun. I might have messed up. Not here, but before I by accident looked at the run. You got to look at the defense here. I might have by accident looked, but oh well. So we're going to go the pass defense is a two. You go down here, it's two stars against a one star. Defense gets a pretty good rush on Len Dawson. So again, when you're looking at the stars, obviously look at the pass and run offense stars on the offense. And then you come over to the team that's on defense. You want to look at the run defense and the pass defense. I might have by accident, and I think I did on one occasion or two, looked at. But the rolls were low enough um, for, I might have hosed them, but they still picked up the first down, so it didn't really. Um, so pass defense is a two stars. Pass offense, a five, because four plus one is one star. Good pass rush, as I stated, on Len Dawson. So now we're going to go to the defense of Miami, and we're going to come down to here, and you see where it says pass defense. Well, Dawson completes zero through, zero through three. Okay. And he does. He's going to complete it. So under duress, 0 through 3, he gets the black 3. That's a completion to Richardson, who's a G rating. Bring up the chart. Go back to play-by-play. -play, pass game chart. We're not going to look. The offense didn't win the trench control. The defense did, so we're going to go stalemate defense. And Richardson is a G-rated receiver. And that's a 7. We're going to look at the white 7 under the G. 10 yards. That's not going to be enough, though. So they pick up 10 yards there. And it's going to be 4th and 7. They picked up 10 yards. They were at the 42. They go to the 32. All right, now they're going to attempt the field goal here. We're going to add 17. That's going to be a 49-yard field goal attempt, right? 32 and 17, 49-yard field goal attempt. Let's go to the Kansas City Chiefs. And down here, you see kicking. 49-yard field goal attempt, 0 through 66. Watch the bottom black-white die. 
and he makes the field goal. Jan Stenerud boots it through. There's no doubles. So on their opening drive, and I might have, and again, I messed up here. I'm pretty sure on a couple, I looked at the, I just realized I looked at the wrong column for the defense. I think on one of the rolls, you want to look at, when you're looking on defense, you want to look at RD and PD, run defense, pass defense. When it's offense for the team that's on offense, RO, run offense, pass offense. So the Chiefs get a Stenerud field goal. And it was a 49-yard field goal. So the Chiefs are on the board. 7-3. to three. Forty-nine yard field goal. Stenner, Stenner, Rude. I think that's how you spell his name. I don't. I don't think he has the kicker's name on here. So Stenner, Rude, Jan Stenner, Rude, and it's seven to three, and that's that's how you play the game. And I was just testing out my Excel spreadsheet. Um, let's do another. Let's do another drive. Let's do another drive. We'll do one. We'll do. We'll do one more drive. I think when I do stream this, I'm gonna do the four drive challenge, where each team will get four drives, and then if it's tied, you go to sudden. You know, a fifth drive with with each team having an opportunity, and then a six drive sudden death. So, but that's how you play the game. We had a lot of good stuff there. Let's let's try one more drive. All right, so it's seven to three. Let's bring this back here. And again, if you're playing and you're not trying to show stuff, you can play much quicker than this. Let's bring this over here. So now seven three Stenerud to kick off. Chiefs kickoff rating is an E. No doubles, so we're not gonna we're gonna ignore green, white, red here and just look at black and white. The black is the kickoff from the Chiefs. It's an E and it's a four. It's gonna be at the five yard line. Miami fields it at the five. Their return is a two. This this could be pretty good. Miami's kick. Return rating is a B and a 2. That's 22 yards. So that's going to take him out, I think, for a second time to the 27-yard line. I do like the I do like the grid set up better than, you know, the lines. So, and I forgot to move the ball over here when it was, but we knew who had it. So, again, Miami has it. They're going to start their drive at the 27. Now let's go to the drive and see if they're going to get a play-by-play -play chance. So again, Miami will go from the minus one drive. Pull here. They're not going to get it. 28, it's not good enough. I already know that. So we go to the minus one on the drive chart. And they rolled a 28 here. So we're, we don't even... We'll, we'll use these in a moment. They're forced to punt. Now... When you're forced to punt, you can't go for it unless it's the final drive of the game that's in the rules. Um, so 0 through 35, they're first forced to punt. It's a 28. So let's see. Um, let's look here. The 20-sided die, the green die, 2. And then you go over here. You go under punt or kick, and the 2, 4 plays, 6 yards. So... Somehow they did pick up a first down because they went four. Could have been a penalty built in there too. So four plays, six yards, and they are they have you have to punt. You cannot go for it. So four plays, six yards. If it was the last play of the game, you would then look at the eight here and figure out the fourth and whatever the situation was. Whatever the yardage is, you would just make it fourth down and that yardage. Okay. So the two, the 
six yards. So the Dolphins are stopped by the Chiefs, and that's going to end their second drive. And see, it can be as quick or as slow, depending on the drive. So they went six yards, 27, one, two, three. That's a 33. They're forced to punt. All right. So Miami, no points on their second drive, and that's a punt. And now we'll punt the ball from the 33. Miami is a C punting team. Ooh, five. Shoot. I should have looked at down and distance. It's a five. It's a 20, though. That would be on Miami because the way it's done, they're the kicking team. So a 20... Nineteen and twenty would be on Miami, but let's roll it out, and then then actually we're gonna we're gonna roll out the play. We know it's a penalty. Then we're gonna re-roll. We're gonna re-roll, so it might not be a penalty. That's the way you're supposed to do it. That's the way Anthony explained it, because I was doing it this way, and that's not right. Okay, so the punt. Miami's punting. They're a C punter. Punting rating. It's a seven. Thirty-six yard punt. 33. So we got 10. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So the 31. All right. Now, Kansas City. Actually, we should use Kansas City. Four on the punt return under C. Four yards on the return. That's to the 35. Now, let's see if there's a penalty. So watch the green die. Nine. Kansas City would be the offensive team. Their penalty rating on offense, one through seven. So no penalty there. Miami would be the defensive team. Their penalty is 19 through 20. So no penalty. I like that. No penalty. Timing works on the drive system, Dave. You get X amount of drives. I'm doing it my way. You would have... So both teams have nine drives for the game. You're supposed to split it up in halves. I don't like doing that. You would go four... One team would have four drives. It, so it would go... We'll say the Dolphins would go two drives in the first quarter. The... Chiefs would have two drives in the first quarter. The second quarter, the Dolphins would have two drives. The Chiefs would have three. Then you reverse that, where the Chiefs would end up having three drives in the fourth quarter. Uh, the Dolphins would have three drives in the fourth quarter. Excuse me. I just like to do the drives out. It's easier for me to, to, to look at it. All right. And again, the rules explain. The booklet's excellent. I, I just like to do things a certain way. I, I'll do a game, or I'll, I'll break it out a game that way at one time. Anthony, you, you, Anthony, Bleacher Bums Gaming, go to his channel. He has the videos on how to do that. I like to just do the number of drives. All right, so the Chiefs are going to start. For, uh, we're going to see what the drive is now after the punt return. So there's no flag. I like that much better. It limits the flags. Can't stand penalties. Now we're going to go to the drive portion. So they're starting from their 35. Let's roll this. Ooh, 91. That is not bueno. That is not good. Bring this back up. Go to the drive chart. Now we know the Chiefs. We're going to go off the zero rating. It's here. Well... 
91 is a possible fumble. Is a possible fumble. Okay? So you can see 90 through 92, possible fumble. So we're going to use the fumble. Then we move over here, the fumble column. So it's a possible fumble. 18, they started on there. 35, because we have to know where they started. So it's going to be 21 through 35 and an 18. And we go to the fumble column. Two plays, 19 yards. If they don't fumble, it's a first down and 10. Because there's a plus there. So two plays, 19 yards. Let's mark that off. So that the 35, 45, that's 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So they go to the Miami 46. Okay, now let's bring this chart back up. All right. Now, fumble. We have to know what play, what type of play it was. Okay, so it's going to be, we're going to re-roll. So on a fumble, we have to know what type of play it was. So the Chiefs, we go to their Chiefs card because they fumbled. Well, they fumble 1 through 10. They fumble 1 through 10. So I don't think we need to know what kind of play because this is the drive portion. We'll ask Anthony that question. Hi, Brian Hoxie. How you doing? So when, you, when a fumble occurs, you go to the team that's fumbling the ball, which would be the offensive team. You come down here, and you can see at the bottom. Let's look at the bottom of the card. You see sacks, interception, fumble. The Chiefs will fumble a ball 1 through 10. Now we're going to go to the defense. Do they do they help out with fumbles? They sure do. Miami is excellent at turnovers. You can see under defense, they're a plus four. So you take one through ten, plus four, it's one through fourteen. That's a 20-sided die roll. We're going to re-roll the green die. One through fourteen, it's a fumble. It's a seventeen! Oh, Nelly, no fumble. Woo! Chiefs dodge a bullet. I believe I did that right. So the way, again, we did that, you look at the, uh, the team that's possibly fumbling the ball, 1 through 10, then you go to the defense, under defense fumbles, plus 4, which means Miami caused a lot of turnovers. So you take the 4, and you add it to the 10, because it's a plus 4, it's 14, we rolled a 17, no fumble. I, again, do I really need to know who fumbled the ball? I guess if we had to, we would. If you want, I really don't need to know. But all I need to know is Kansas City maintains possession. So they will start their drive, and because it was a plus, it's going to be first and 10 at the Dolphins 46. So you got to remember that stuff. So first and 10. Never be afraid to like jot notes down if you're playing on your little sheet. I should have probably put it there. But it, the reason why it's at first down, we're going to go back. And this will be the last drive that we're going to televise, and then I'm going to play the rest of the game offline. Okay. So we went under the fumble chart. We rolled an 18. It was two plays, 19 yards. And you see the plus. That means it's, an auto, it's a first down if they maintain possession. When you see a plus, it's a first and 10 after whatever the drive result is. That's why that happened. So first and 10 for the Chiefs. This would be the last drive we show on the stream. And then I'm going to finish this game offline at my leisure. 
because Wyatt is not feeling well and he's waking up. So I will probably have to take him for a little bit. Okay, so let's go quickly. First and 10 from the 46. We go play-by-play -play mode. So the Chiefs, first and 10. We go to the first down column here. We're in play-by-play -play mode now. Let's roll the dice. It's a 12. That's going to be a run to McAvey. G rating if they win the trench control. Five. Now let's make sure we do this right because I, I messed up the defense. I'm pretty sure with the Dolphins on one or two of these. Five. We look under the RO. That's run offense. That's one star. Four. Run defense. Four. One star. It's a stalemate. So we will use Holmes. I'm sorry, McAvee rating of a G under the stalemate column. So play by play. No doubles here on the on the D6s. Yay. We'll just use the black four. So that's a four. And McAvee is a G. And again, we're not going to use run charts, offense wins, trench control, because they didn't. It's it's a stalemate. It's a standoff. No one won the day at the line of scrimmage. So it's up to the running back to find a hole and keep his legs churning. G and a four on the stalemate. Only one yard. So good job by the no-name defense. McAvey picks up a yard. And it's going to be second and nine. So second and nine. We're going to go to the second down column here. Three, it's going to be a run. And it's going to be Mike Garrett. One through four, he runs the ball. So, like, you see there's a four here. Anything, I'm sorry, zero to four, he runs the ball. When you see a four, that's the top number of the roll. So it's zero through four, Mike Garrett runs the ball. Holmes would run the ball five to eight, so on and so forth. Same thing with the who's the receiver. So it's going to be Mike Garrett. That's a six. That's not going to be Bueno. Run offense. The the run the the, the lineman didn't do a good job there. No stars on the six. Run defense one. That's two stars. Now we go to we're not going to we don't we're not concerned right now at all with. Mike Garrett's run rating because we're going to go to the defense of the Dolphins. They won the day at the line of scrimmage. You come down, you see the gray, and you see run defense. We're going to look at the black to see what happens. It's a five, so it's not going to be a stuff because zero through six, we're going to use the Dolphins' run rating on defense, which is a J. We go back to the chart. We go to the stalemate or defense wins chart. Now we're going to use the white die here. Is a two. So we go to J and a two. So you go zero, one, zero, one, two. You know, that's not bad. That's four yards. A good tough run by McAvey or McVay. Four yards. So here's the two. You come across. Dolphins defensive run rating is a J. You go J, 2, because it goes 0, 1, 2, 4 yards. 1, 2, 3, 4 to the 41. And that's going to make it 3rd and 5. 3rd and 5 now for the Chiefs. So 3rd and 5. Again, this will be our last drive, and I'll finish the game offline. When I do stream this, like to stream stream, I think we'll do a, f uh, the way I'm going to do it, four drive challenge. Each team gets four drives because I want to make it watchable. Again, this is, I normally don't do tutorials, but we kind of did a tutorial earlier on. It went about two hours because we were talking with Anthony, and he was showing us stuff, explaining things, and it did help out a lot for me. And I'm going to jot some notes down. 
and I will share those like a quick play notes for people who want them once I jot them down. All right, so third and five, we go to the third down columns. We have three third down columns, third and six plus, third and three through five, and third and one or two yards, so short. Well, we're going to use the middle third down column because it's third down and five, and that's three through five. So that's where we're going to get the results. There's not going to be any pluses or minuses because there's no yellows or blues. It's an 18. That's going to be a pass. Len Dawson's going to look for Arbanis. I think he was a tight end. I think Arbanis was a tight end. So 18. Now, this is very important. Who wins the trench control? Five. That's not going to bode well, I think, for the Chiefs. Pass offense, five. Oh, they do get a star there. They do get a star. But pass defense, and we're going to go over here to the Dolphins. PD, pass defense is a two. They're going to get some pressure on Len Dawson once again. So the defense wins the day at the line of scrimmage. That means we will go to see if it's going to be complete off the pass defense. You go down the Miami card. You go where it says pass defense. It's in gray. You, if you print these cards, you want them color-coded because it's it helps you. Gray, and it says pass defense. Now, the only way Len Dawson completes this pass is he needs on off the defense card, 0 through 3. It's a 5. That's going to be incomplete. It's a 5, incomplete. Okay. 0 through 3 would be complete. 4 through 6 would have been is incomplete. Had it been 0 through 3, we would then go to the defense, wins trench control pass, but it's incomplete. So Dawson, incomplete pass, trying to hit Arbanis. That's going to make it 4th and 5. Field goal attempt. I don't think he has a chance here. That's 41. That's a 58-yard field goal. His max for Stenerud is 54 but if you try out of his range you have to deduct I want to say it's a yard I can't remember what Anthony said so we'll do it as a yard for each yard over so that would be what do we say 57 uh, 58 excuse me from the 41 uh, so he needs and I, I I could be wrong with this. Like I'm just gonna do a, a roll of a, for every yard over. It's it's you're deducting a roll number. So instead of zero through sixty six, it's four yards over. It's zero through sixty two. He needs a sixty two on the bottom, and he misses. That is a missed field goal. It's an eighty five. So we're playing modern rules. In the old days, they would get it at the twenty. Modern rules, they get it. We'll just start it right here. And that's going to end our stream. So they didn't get anything there. They missed the field goal. We tried it. That is a miss field goal. Oops. So we went through two drives, 7-3, Dolphins. I'm going to finish the rest of the game offline as we're an hour and eight minutes in. I hope you enjoyed the... the uh, Another little tutorial. I think this shows it off a little better. What I did was, and anyone can do this, if you have Excel, I took the PDF file, I used the snippet tool, which is this thing. I'll drag it over here so you can see. You click on it, find your snippet tool, and you basically snip it from the PDF file, and you do copy-paste. And that's all I did. So. All right. Well, that is the stream and this is glory days football it'll soon be out at sidelinestrategies.com the creator is anthony crooks our good friend bleacher bums gaming so if you have more questions go to his channel he has several tutorial videos explaining more and you can also touch base with him he's more than happy to explain things if you have questions you can leave them in the comments below on the video page and i will relay them to anthony we had so quickly, let's go over. We are playing hybrid mode. First thing you do is you do the kickoff. So you have to know the kickoff rating and the kick return rating. Once you have that, you have a starting point. 
Now you have the starting point. So you need to know your drive ratings. In this game, the drive rating for the Dolphins was minus one. How did we get that? Well, the Dolphins' drive offense is a nine. And you see that at the top of the card. Drive offense, nine. Kansas City's drive defense at the top of the card is a 10. Okay. And again, these other things are for quick play mode, which I don't play. So 9 minus 10 is a minus 1. That's how you get your drive. For Kansas City, their drives would start with a 0. And we'll bring that chart up again because it's 10 against 10. So then you go to the drive chart. That didn't really help. I thought it would make it bigger. It didn't. So we go to the drive chart. Let's just say it's it's Kansas City. You're going to roll the dice on the zero, the neutral. Okay. For them to get a good drive, 34 to 84. If you get 78 to 84, it's a big play possibility, so on and so forth. You can see drive kill. That's a question. Um... You know, I've never come across that, so I'm gonna have to add, I'm gonna have to look up how that exactly works. Fumble we had, interceptions pretty self-explanatory. You go to the interception column, and then the event chart would be 99. And if you had that, you would go here to the event chart. We weren't gonna do that tonight because I'm learning the basics of the game. Again, this is just like boxing. Um, you go to the event chart, and you'd read what happens, and then adjust accordingly. So then you would roll your dice. You're looking at here. And if it was an 80, whatever, let's just roll. 90 would be bad. They wouldn't get a drive. That's something bad happening. Possible fumble. Okay. Once you get that done, let's just say it was a drive. You'd figure out your starting point. Say if it was at the 25, you come here. You check your 20-sider against the corresponding startage yard, say if it was 12, so it'd be eight plays, 54 yards, that would be a good drive. You, you do your determination what it would be because there's no plus. You would then look at your six-sided die. You ignore doubles during drive mode because penalties are built into the drive mode. That's an eight. So you go here, eight. And if this was the Chiefs, Miami's drive defense we know is a 10. We cross-reference it here. And it would be second and seven. And that's where your play-by-play -play mode would start. All right. Thank you to Brian Hoxie, Dave Gardner, Mark Jones, D. Scott Howard. Stay safe, be smart, treat people the way you'll be treated again. We're just taking a look at my new Excel spreadsheet setup. I like it. I'm going to finish this game offline at my leisure and learn more, write some notes that might be helpful to the community. Any questions? Contact Bleacher Bums Gaming. That's Anthony Crooks. Go to his YouTube channel. He has several videos on the game, this great game he's created. You can also play Quick Play. So you could play the first half in Quick Play. The second half. You could play the first three quarters in Quick Play and finish the game off in hybrid mode or play by play mode. It's up to you. You can play the whole game in Quick Play. I'm not a Quick Play guy. I usually actually like to play play-by-play. -play. My games take long offline. But again, I was in the learning mode, and this helps me learn. Anthony gave us a lot of good stuff in our first video about things I didn't interpret correctly, and now I know how to do it correctly. So thank you to Anthony. Greatly appreciate everyone's time again. Stay safe, be smart, treat people the way to be treated. If you enjoyed the stream, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, hit the bell for notification when we go live. Check out all the other wonderful content creators in our community such as Dave Gardner and many, many others. Become a member of the FOC. It's very easy. You subscribe to my channel. You subscribe to members, other members in the community's channel, such as Dave Gardner, Beatles Eternally, many others, uh, Dave Little, Sports Time Machine. Yeah, I could go through and name a gazillion. And you sub, share, like them. All right, that's it.